Hello children, welcome to Storytime. Let us begin with a prayer. Dear Lord, we give thanks for the day that we have been given. Let us use it to be of service to you, one and all, whether we're great or small. Amen. Today's story is Seven Days of Awesome, a creation tale by Sean Bias, illustrated by Colin Jack. Hey, where did you come from? And what about me? What about Casey, Mike, Max, and Zoe? What about elephants? And what about fleas? What about monkeys, bears, lions, and trees? Have you thought of these things? Well, maybe you should. So wake up your mind it will do you some good. Where did fish come from? Or even these rocks? And who made it up those feet that you keep in your socks? Did life start by itself? Boy, don't be a loon. It started with someone and you'll find out who soon. Way, way back. Before time began, before dogs or cats or even man, God was there and he had a plan. And this is how it all began. It's out of sight. God first made the light. And why would that be? Because there's so much to see. So I could see you. And you could see me. If it wasn't for light. How dark would it be? If it wasn't for dark. You'd sleep in the light. So the light he called day. And the dark he called night. God called it all good. That's the end of day one. Is that all he made? So he's already done? Don't be silly, my friend. God has only begun. Day two is huge. And do you know why? On day number two, God made the big sky with water above and water below. God made the sky high and he made the ground low. See all the seas and see all the trees. On day number three, God made all of these. And look, what a hoot. Today, God made fruit. Isn't that neat? Now there's something to eat. Then God said with glee, It looks good to me. So that, my dear friend, is the end of day three. Then on day four, God made even more the moon and the stars out of space to explore. God filled up the skies with treats for our eyes. The highest of heights is now full of lights. Things are alive on day number five. With just a few words, God made all the birds. And not only birds, but in the same way, he made all the fish on that very same day. 
God filled up the seas. And he filled up the sky with fish that could swim and birds that could fly. And fish that could fly. And birds that could swim. But don't ask me why. You will have to ask him. Day six is fantastic. You know that it's true. Day six is the day God finally made you. And not only you, the entire zoo too. With critters that hop and creatures that crawl. Some that are short and some that are tall. God made eyes for seeing. God made hair for growing. God made ears for hearing. And he made feet for going. God made us to love. And he made us to live. He made arms to hug. And he made hands to give. Yes, God made it all like no one else could. All to glorify him. And he called it all good. But wait, there's more. What didn't we see? With all that God's made, what else could there be? On day seven, God made what I like best. Do you know what he made? That's when God made rest. The end. Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to GSBC Storytime. But let's start with a prayer. Oh, gracious Father, we thank you for your grace and we thank you for your mercy. We ask that you will help the children to be receptive to this story so that they will learn about being thankful for who they are and for the things that they have. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Today's story comes from the book God's Big Plans for Me Storybook Bible based on the purpose driven life written by Rick Warren the story is based on Genesis the 37th chapter and the 39th chapter verses 1 through 5 let's listen to the story Joseph and his brothers which is taken from those chapters Joseph and his brothers. Jacob had 12 sons, but he loved Joseph best. He made a beautiful coat of many colors and gave it to Joseph to show him how much he loved him. It made the other brothers really jealous. The brothers were also jealous because of Joseph's strange dreams. They thought the dreams meant they were supposed to bow down to Joseph and they definitely weren't going to do that. One day, Joseph's older brothers were taking care of their father's sheep in a town far away. Jacob sent Joseph to check on them. When the brothers saw Joseph coming in his bright coat, they said, Look, the dreamer is coming. Let's throw him into a pit. Then we can tell father that some wild animal ate him. The brothers grabbed Joseph, tore off his robe, and tossed him in a pit. They decided to sell Joseph as a slave to some traders who were on their way to Egypt. In Egypt, 
Joseph worked hard and became an important servant. One day, the Pharaoh had Joseph brought to him. He had had strange dreams, and he wanted Joseph to tell him what they meant. Joseph was able to help Pharaoh because God was with him. This made Pharaoh very happy, and he wanted to reward Joseph. Pharaoh made Joseph ruler over the land of Egypt. Joseph made sure the Egyptian people had enough food to eat. Joseph's father sent his brothers to Egypt to buy grain because they didn't have enough food to eat when a famine came. They went to Joseph to ask for food, but they didn't even recognize him. But Joseph recognized his brothers and forgave them for what they had done. He and his brothers hugged and cried. The brothers went home with good news and lots of food. Joseph sent wagons with them to use to bring his father and his family back to Egypt. They were all happy together for many years. Here are some things to think about. I am thankful for who I am and what I have. Remember, love is patient, love is kind. It does not want what belongs to others. 1 Corinthians 13, 4. Here's a question for you to think about. Instead of wishing you had what someone else has, you can stop and be thankful for what God has given you. What is something God has given you that you can be thankful for? Let's have our closing prayer. Heavenly Father, please help the children to know that they are somebody. Please help them to be thankful for what they have. Help them to know that showing goodness to others is pleasing to you. You are awesome. We thank you for all things. In Jesus' name, amen.